Welcome to the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is 4 times 8 is more than simply 32. Every now and then you might hear someone ask, what is 4 times 8? And you may hear someone else answer, 4 times 8 is 32. What is interesting is that this question can mean several different things. When someone asks, what is 4 times 8? What they might mean is, 4 times 8 is equal to what number? The answer to that question is 32. 4 times 8 is equal to 32, and that is an important idea. But they may also know that there are other important ideas. So when someone asks, what is 4 times 8? They may be wondering, what does 4 times 8 mean? And that is another important question. In this video, let's take a closer look at both of these ideas. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Let's examine some ways that 4, 8, and 32 are related to each other. To begin, if 4 times 8 is equal to 32, then 8 times 4 is also equal to 32. And since multiplication is related to division, we also know that 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8, and 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. If we look at 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4, we can see that there are several different ways to write this idea. We can write 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4, or we can write 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4, and that can be very useful. So understanding 4 times 8 is more than simply knowing that the product is 32. Here is an array. We know that an array that is 8 by 4 will have a total of 32. And we also know that we can break 32 apart into 8 groups of 4, just like this. And when we put 8 groups of 4 together, the total is 32. And we know that we can break 32 apart into 4 groups of 8, just like this. And when we put 4 groups of 8 together, the total is 32. So we can think of 4 times 8 as 4 groups of 8. You may recognize this as repeated addition. And if we count the groups of 8, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 8. And the total of 4 groups of 8 is 32. And if 4 times 8 is equal to 32, we also know that 8 times 4 is equal to 32. So we can think of 32 as 8 groups of 4. If we count the groups of 4, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups of 4, which is equal to 32. 4 times 8 is equal to 32, and there are many more important ideas. When we look on the multiplication table, we can see that 4 times 8 is equal to 32. 32 is a multiple of 4, and 32 is also a multiple of 8. In fact, if you look closely, you'll find another connection. You'll see that 32 is the 8th multiple of 4. I'll count the multiples of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 32 is the 4th multiple of 8. I'll count the multiples of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Understanding that 32 is a multiple of both 4 and 8 is very important. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. And there are many important ideas related to the number 32. If we think about the number 32, we know that if we divided it into 8 equal parts, like this, that each part would be 1 eighth of 32. And 1 eighth of 32 is equal to 4. And at the same time, if we divided 32 into 4 equal parts, each part would be 1 fourth of 32. And 1 fourth of 32 is equal to 8. When you examine 4 times 8 is equal to 32, you may notice that 32 is greater than 4, and 32 is also greater than 8. But how many times greater? Here is the answer. 32 is 8 times greater than 4. And there is another connection. 32 is also 4 times greater than 8. As you can see, there are many relationships among these numbers. So, 4 times 8 is equal to 32, and that is an important idea. But as you can tell, it's not the end of the story. There are many more relationships, many more connections, 
and many more ideas waiting to be discovered as we take a closer look at multiplication. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whitewarning, and this is a reminder that 4 times 8 is more than simply 32.